Drongo in this afternoon light. You can see how it's glowing and shining and that deep fork in the tail that gives it its name. Now we do get another bird that looks very similar to this but will have a squared off end to its tail and that is known as a black flycatcher. It's also a slightly different beak shape to the Drongo but these guys are quite common both of them so you've always got to look for the tail as soon as you see that big forked deep v tail you know fork tail drongo and i know tara was saying this is her favorite bird and i do like them too because they are highly intelligent birds they uh, remind me a lot of crows funny enough which is i know crows often have negative connotations but they are incredibly intelligent as well and you'll find that these guys are super sneaky they're able to mimic and imitate varying different species of bird and mammal and they do that to be able to find food so they'll mimic alarm calls of mongoose which will allow them to then the mongoose to run away if they've got a food item and they'll drongo to come in and eat they do it with meerkats they do a same call as a pearl spotted owlet which hunts other birds so all the other birds disappear if there's a food source so they've got a number of little tricks up their sleeve and are very intelligent about the way that they use them so very good mimics as well and then up on top You've got a magpie shrike that, how it's hanging on, I'm not quite sure up there. You can see it's having a bit of difficulty. It's been blown about, it's long tail fluttering in the breeze, and well, there it goes. But imagine that bird's having a struggle. Most of the birds that have those short stout wings are going to have a tough time.